Hello YouTube, this is Rascal Ryan 521 here, and today I have a different, a bit of a different video for you. Um, <coughs> it's actually not Lego related at all, <clears throat> and it's probably gonna be pretty long because I have a lot to talk about, so I'm just gonna get started right away. Um, but basically, if you're avid Family Guy watchers like I am, um, then you will, then you, chances are by now you've probably seen last night's episode from season 12 titled Life of Brian. And this episode is, I mean, this one, wow, I wasn't expecting this. So the basic plot point for Life of Brian, spoiler alert, because there's big, 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 big spoiler in this one. Um, <coughs> basically, you know, you see all the chaos going on when it starts off, you know, Brian and Stewie, you know, they're in, they're back in time, and obviously, you know, they've gotten themselves in trouble because it explains right away how Stewie gave the Native Americans guns. And they, like, killed all the white people, and they kind of took the country for, themse for themselves. And, you know, they almost got killed from their whole expedition. So after they finally get home, after, you know, taking the guns away for that last, like, for the first five minutes of the episode. When they finally get home, Stewie destroys his time machine, you know, his legendary time machine. But when they're going to the junkyard, to you know, because they almost got killed. But when they're going to the junkyard to dispose of the pieces, the pieces from it, um, Brian finds a used hockey net, you know, that they're just, that they, um, you know, that somebody just threw away. <coughs> so, they decide to bring it home, and while they're setting it up, Brian's setting it up in the street, and, spoiler alert, Brian actually gets hit by a car, and later ends up dying. Like, seriously, he gets hit by a car, the family brings him into the vet, and, um, yeah, and he dies in the hospital but, I mean, seriously, look it up. There's footage of the scene where he dies on YouTube. Um, go look it up. I think it's got almost over half a million views already. It was just uploaded not even a full day ago. <clears throat> but, basically, my I want to give you my thoughts on this episode. So, this episode um, was actually, it took a bit of a darker tone for me. And that's kind of what I liked about it. Um, yeah, I mean, I was really sad to see Brian go. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, and, and I felt that, you know, they, I, I wasn't too thrilled about all the comedy they put around in it. I mean, because the comedy moments they had in this, in this episode were pretty good. Um, rare as they were, they were good. Um, especially that part about the albino kids. That, that one, that one had me cracking up. That one was funny. Um, and Grimace. Um, you know, Joe taking Grimace for a ride in a SWAT car. Or not SWAT car, it was, you know, it was, police car, but, um, basically, this episode, you know, they deal with the loss of Brian, remember, like, and they do, like, different, like, you know, things that you would do, you know, if you did lose a family member, you know, because Lois unintentionally sets the table for Brian for, like, breakfast, you know, because, you know, they just, they're still coping with it, you know, and, um, you know, it's just natural to do things like that, you know, because you just, you never know. Um, you know, it's just the slightest things like that, you know, it's just it's part of your daily routine, you know, but, and then, you know, the, the funeral scene is done great, you know, Peter's eulogy for Brian is, um, moving, um, one of the most emotional episodes I've seen, and then they go out and they get, and then about a month has passed, and they go out and they get this new dog, Vinny, um, who's, vo who's voiced by, I can't think of his name right now, but he's, um, he did the voice for one of the characters in The Sopranos. Um, I heard that show. I've heard great, great reviews about that show. Um, the main star just passed recently, which is sad. But um, I've wanted to get around to watching it. I haven't yet, though. Um, I don't know if I will, but if I do, I'll let you know. But anyway, um, yeah, this, he's this wise-cracking Italian dog. And people are thinking, and I, this is what I thought at first, Brian's gone for good. They're trying to take a new route with this, and Stewie's, or I mean Stewie, I'm... Um, Vinny's here to stay. But my initial thoughts on this is I personally think that... <clears throat> that I think Vinny is just, you know, the alternative character for now. And what I think is going to end up happening is if you go... I was, just, you know, I was reading on the Family Guy Wikipedia. Yes, they actually have that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ashamed to say I look at it. And I'm also not ashamed to say I was, like, literally almost tearing up in this episode. I mean, it was really emotional. Um, especially, especially when Brian was on his deathbed, you know, he was, um, his last words were just something like, you've given me a great life, um, I love you all, or something like that, and then, he, I think he just died. Go, like I said, go look up the footage on YouTube. But basically, what I think is gonna happen is, I was reading stuff in the Family Guy wiki, and, um, 
it says something two episodes from now is a Christmas episode titled Christmas Guy. And it says something in the description about how how Stewie wish Stewie um wishes for um like Stewie tries to get the one thing he really wants for Christmas. So my two th my my two thoughts on that are either gonna be he because yeah the thing is oh yeah I forgot to explain this earlier he wanted to rebuild his get the pieces to rebuild his time machine so he could go back in time, you know save Brian, but the guy that sells him his stuff. You know, was kind of was out of the supplies or whatever. I mean, like he, they weren't being sold to him anymore. But what I think is, um, but what I think is going to happen is either he's going to wish for the supplies for the time machine, or you know, he could do one of those classic Disney movie things and just wish Brian back to life. Um, I think it's going to be one of those two. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, this Vinny guy, I don't know. I don't know if he really sits well with me. I mean, he's a good alternative for now, but just as a main Family Guy character to replace Brian Griffin. We're talking Brian Griffin here, the main one of the main characters ever since season one, um, since '99. Um, I just I don't know if he can really live up to the expectations because Brian was always, you know, because Brian was the character with the most common sense, you know, because he was the most relatable. I mean, I know this is weird saying this about about a dog, but he was the most relatable character. <laughs> Peter and Chris were idiots. Meg, well, nobody likes Meg. <laughs> um, Stewie, you know, was an evil genius <clears throat> and somewhat creepy. <laughs> Um, Lois, at times, was could be a nag. Um, not, not that that's not a bad thing. I mean, all the characters are unique, but I'm just saying that as a relatable character, a relatable voice of reason, Brian was probably the one that a lot of people would say was that character. So I just, I don't think this Vinny guy is going to really live up to the expectations. Um, I think there's even a petition that people are starting to sign to bring Brian back to Family Guy. And I honestly, I think this is going to be like one of those... One of those, you know, total things that, you know, one of those total, um, you know, April Fool's type things that they, that TV shows do. You know, they're going to make a big deal about how Brian's dead and everything. And you know what, they're going to have like an April Fool's episode, like around the time April comes around. They're going to do an, sorry if you hear that, it's a buzzer going off in the background. Um, <coughs> around the time April rolls around, they'll probably do an April Fool's episode and have Brian come back or something to do with that. I don't exactly know, but, um, yeah, I just, I really, I want Brian back. I think, I think a lot of the fans want him back, too. Um, if you watch the show, let me know. Tell me what you think. I don't, like I said, I don't think this Vinny guy's really here to stay. Um, like I said, he's a happy alternative for now, but I just don't think he's not going to live up to the viewer's expectations. <clears throat> Um, but the episode, by the way, I forgot to mention, the episode, you know, just as a whole, as an episode, it was, I mean, it was good. It had, like I said, it had some deep emotional meaning, me you know, meaning to it. It had, um, some comedy, like I said, the jokes were pretty funny. Um, the joke they did about, um, about women, um, you know, being able to vote, that one was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry, I'm still I'm kind of cracking up. But, like I said, if you... If you've had to cope with, like, the loss of a pet or something and that's the still weighing you down, um, this might not, this episode might not be your cup of tea because it deals pretty heavy on the results of losing loved ones, which, thank God, I've never really had to experience. I mean, I've not, nobody really super close to me has really been, has really died in my lifetime. But, um, any... Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you think is going to happen. Um, what do you think about this Finny guy? Um, do you like him? Um, or do you like Brian, for that matter? Do you like this episode? And um, what kind of what kind of twist do you think this series is going to go? Like, what, what do you think? What do you think this series is going? What do you think they're going to do with this? What do you think they're going to do with this current situation they're in right now? Because they've they've peed off a lot of fans right now, and I don't. I just don't know if they're going to. If they don't bring Brian back, I think they may lose viewers. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's... I just... I don't know. I was pretty I was pretty mad about when I first heard it. And then I saw the episode. And, like I said, I, and I realized Vinny isn't a complete jerk. He's an okay character, but... he just He's not going to live up to the fans' ex expectations, but... Anyway, let me know, know what you guys think. And, um... If you like videos like this, I can do non-LEGO videos. You know, on TV shows. I watch Family Guy. Um, The Simpsons. The Walking Dead. Um, I'm into the Big Bang Theory, too. Um, I'm just listing off shows that I watch.
But yeah, if there's any show that if there's a show that I watch that you would like me to do a, a thoughts video on, then um um let me know and I'd be glad to do it. Just let me know in the comments. Um. So yeah, thanks guys. Bye.